Hi everybody, this is Opie Taylor and we're going to learn how to find slopes with this easy algebra lesson. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, so finding the slope of a line. So section A, so number one, if it goes through the two points x sub 1, y sub 1 and x sub 2, y sub 2, then please use this formula. This is the easiest way. You do uh, the, the y's go on top, so subtract the y's on top, subtract the x's on the bottom. And you have to go in the same order, y sub 2 minus y sub 1 on the bottom, x sub 2 minus x sub 1. And how I remember you guys is x, and x has two legs to it, and so it holds up this table better. If you put the y's on the bottom, it only has one leg to it. It wouldn't hold up the tables better. So we want four legs on the bottom from the two x's, so the x's go on the bottom. Okay, that's how I remember, okay? And then if they give you a picture, then what you're going to do is use a rise over run. And I'll show you an example of that in just a second. All right, a vertical line has uh, what they say undefined slope. Of, so a vertical line is a line that goes up and down like this, okay? And a horizontal line uh, has slope zero. So a horizontal line, the slope would be zero. When it's going like this, the slope would be zero. Okay, so here's some pictures, you guys. So classify lines by their slope. A line with positive slope rises from left to right. So see how it's going up from left to right? That's a positive slope right there. A line with a negative slope falls down from left to right. Okay, so it's going in this direction. So when it's going like that, that's a negative slope. A line with slope zero is a horizontal line like that guy. Okay, a line that's undefined is a vertical line. So there it is. It's right there, a vertical line. Okay, so uh, remember this. I'm going to come back to this. All these things in section A. So if they give you two points, we're going to use this formula. If they give me a picture, I'm going to use this formula right here. Okay, so here we go. So find the slope of each line. So it passes through the points negative 4, 2, and 2, comma 6. Okay, this is x1, this is y1, this is x2, this is y2. So what I'm going to do is use my slope formula. So I'm going to let x1, y1 be negative 4, 2, and x2, y2 equals uh, 2, comma 6. Okay, so I'm going to just plug them in right here. So this is my y sub 2, this is my y sub 1, over my x sub 2, which is this 2, minus the x sub 1, which is that negative 4. Okay, so 6 minus 2, whoops, uh, over 2 minus a minus 4 becomes 2 plus 4 downstairs. So 2 plus 4 is 6, and 6 minus 4 is 2, and then of course, uh, 4 over 6 reduces to 2 over 3, because 2 goes into 4 and 6, okay? 2 goes into 4 2 times, and 2 goes into 6 3 times, okay? All right, so here's another one. Now, this one, they give me a picture, you guys. So you can use slope formula since you know those two points right there, but it's easier for me to use uh, rise over run. So remember this from uh, section A. This is number 2 in section A. I'm going to use rise over run. So you got to start at the leftest most point. So this is my leftest most point. Okay, from here it went up. So my rise, it went up to uh, where the other point is, it went up to. So that's what my rise is, is two. And then now I'm going to go over from here. It's going to slide over here. That would be my uh, run. So my run is three, so the slope is two over three or two thirds. Okay, rise over run. Okay, let's try another one. Okay, this one, um, I don't know this point, but yes, I do. This is the origin. This is zero, zero. So I'm going to use rise over run again, you guys. So my rise is going to be negative two. Remember, you got to start at the leftest most point. So it went down two, and then from here, it's going to go over one. Okay, so down two over one. So of course, uh, reduce negative two over one is just negative two. Okay, so this time it passes through 2, 4, and 6, 2. So I'm going to use that first slope formula, y sub 2 minus y sub 1, over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. This is x1, y1. This is x2, y2. Okay, so this 2 minus 4 goes on top, and then 6 minus this 2 goes on bottom. Okay, all right, there it is right there. 2 minus 4 is negative 2. 6 minus 4 is 4, and then that reduces to a negative 1 half. Okay, this time it passes through 5, 2, and 5, 8. I'm going to do slope formula again. 8 minus 2 over 5 minus 5. Hey, I get 0 on the bottom. So what's that mean? Well, let's just take a look. Let's graph those two points right there, 5, 2, and 5, 8. There's 5, 2, and 5, 8 right there. Okay, when I connect those, that makes a vertical line. Remember, vertical lines have undefined slope. 
So here's what I think, you guys. If, if zero's on the bottom, treat it like a basketball. Like that's a basketball and this is a table right here. There's no way you can put a table on top of a basketball. It would make that number fall over. There's no way it would hold up. So that, that's how I remember if it's undefined. If zero's on top, if you ever had something where zero came on top, that's a horizontal line and that equals zero. All right?